What's up witches? I'm Allie the Bronx Witch. And if this is your first time on my channel, I make videos about Wicca the religion, witchcraft the practice, and I make tarot videos. In this video, I wanted to show you guys how I go about creating sacred space. If you have been reading books on witchcraft or Wicca, you may have heard terms like sacred space and casting a circle. The two terms can sometimes get used interchangeably and that can be confusing. So I thought I'd walk you through the difference and show you how I go about doing both of these things. Creating a sacred space is the act of cleansing and blessing a space so that it can serve as a designated area for magic, divination, or spiritual work. And if you're able to set up a permanent altar like I can, then you can perform a sacred space ritual just once and keep the area clean with regular cleansings. If not, and your altar is a temporary one or it's being set up in a space that is frequented by others, then you might create sacred space more often. Casting a circle, on the other hand, is a specific type of sacred space that is a concentrated energy bubble of protection and high vibrational energy that a witch creates around themselves before working magic. For some witches, and many, but certainly not all Wiccans, a circle is cast on a more frequent basis, usually before casting spells or performing mediumship work. I recently decided to move some things around in my apartment and set up my working altar on a different table and in a different space. So for me, it's absolutely necessary that I cleanse and bless this new altar space before I set it up and begin working there. So to start, if you've seen my other videos and you know, it's time to clean. Remember, cleansing a dirty space is like putting clean clothes on a dirty body. It looks fine from a distance, but up close, it's pretty funky. After I've cleaned my space thoroughly, I light my element candles around the space and cast my circle, creating my high vibrational energy bubble in which to work. While I'm doing this, I'm calling in my ancestors and spirit guides to join me and to help turn this space from a portion of my bedroom into a place that is made for making magic together. I call in the quarters, which are the elemental guardians of the north, south, east, and west. I want the energies of nature to know that this is a place where they will be honored as well, and I ask them to lend their energies to my cleansing. Then I move on to the cleansing itself. Beginning with my besom, I take a representation of each of the elements and carry them widdershins, or counterclockwise, around the space allowing their energy to remove and replace any other energy in the space. My besom represents the element of air and sweeps away negative, unwanted, or lingering energy. I ask the sylphs, the guardians of the air, to occupy the energetic space that is left when I remove this unwanted energy. This flame represents the element of fire and burns away any negative, unwanted, or lingering energy. And I ask the salamanders, the guardians of fire, to occupy the space left behind. This water represents water, of course, and as it removes any unwanted energy, I ask the undines, the guardians of the water, to occupy this space. And this salt is a representation of earth. As it removes any unwanted energy, I ask the gnomes, the guardians of the earth, to occupy this space with their energy. And finally, I declare this space cleansed and sacred, and I dedicate this altar to the divine feminine that lives in me and in this space. As for my altar items, some of the items that are going on my new altar are from my previous altar, but some things are new. So those new items will need to be cleansed before I can use them. So as usual, I bless my salt and add it to my water, creating a blessed water that can be used for cleansing. Then, working with each item one by one, I cleanse them with the elements represented by my blessed water and lit incense, in a manner similar to how I cleansed my space. Once everything is cleansed and the space has been dedicated to my magic 
and the energetic beings that I work with, I move on to setting up my altar. I will do this while I'm still in circle. The first step for me is both functional and fashionable. A few layers of altar cloth will not only give me the look I'm going for, but will protect the furniture from the candle wax, falling embers, oil spills, and other magical mishaps that will definitely happen here. Trust me, if you're setting up a working altar for yourself as well, layer up those altar cloths. This is also a chance to show your individuality as a witch. Feel free to incorporate cloths that speak to your cultural background, your spiritual path, or maybe even your spirit animal. Then comes the fun part, placing and arranging my altar items. Even though some of the altar items that I'm using were already on my previous altar and don't need a full cleansing, I do want to refresh them energetically, so to speak. So while I place my altar items, you will notice me wiping them down with some rue water. While I'm following Wiccan principles in terms of what I include on my altar and how I set it up, my altar needs to be my own and reflect my own practice. As you can see, it's taking me some time to decide where I want things to go. And as of the posting of this video, I've already moved a few things around. And that's going to change and grow over time as I do. And your altar should grow and change over time with you as well. But if you want to learn more about setting up your altar the Wiccan way, I'm including a few links to some videos about Wiccan tools and altar setup. I am so happy with my new altar space. I had grown out of my previous setup, and now I feel like I'm back in a space that's right for me again. And after performing the sacred space and cleansing rituals, the space energetically really feels and special magical and like my own. I'm curious about how you guys go about creating sacred space or how you cleanse your altar. So let me know in the comment section. If you like this video or found it helpful, definitely click on the thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, just leave them for me down below. And of course, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Click on the bell button so you're notified every time a new video comes out. You can follow me on Instagram at Bronxwitch, and I'll see each of you in the next video. Blessed be.